Hi, I'm Carl. Um, I've been tinkering with these MyLight um, limitless LED bulbs for a while. Uh, as you probably know, the the RGB and white protocol, the old protocol, has been reverse engineered and things. Uh, does colour all white, no mix. Um, that's fine. Um, but I've got the RGB CCT, uh, RGB changing colour temperature, or RGB dual white, or RGB warm white, cool white. They have different names everywhere. So I've got these, and uh, the bulbs are great. They're so much better. There's saturation control because you can uh, it, it blends the white. You can control how much it blends the white in with the colour. So whereas the old ones like a disco, the old my lights, limitless LED. These new ones, it's a bit more like Philips Hue. You know, you can get nice peachy tones and stuff. Um, and obviously you've got your colour temperature, which is great, you know. Energise in the morning, relax at night, or even go for a slight dim pinky hue, whatever you want. Anyway, this, this is a new protocol, it's encrypted. People are working on it, um, people who know what they're doing and certainly know a lot more than I do about these things. Uh, I've been messing around trying to do something that I thought I maybe I could succeed at, and that was to um, take the place of the touch sensors in the remote. They speak over I squared C to the little RF board here. This is the remote, it has a touch sensor at the top there, 12 channel that does the top half of the remote, one at the bottom that seems to do the bottom half. And I've been experimenting with this a bit. Got an Arduino thing, a feather. MO, I think it is the ARM one. This got this program just dual I I squared C slaves independent because they actually pretend to be two of the same thing with the same ID. And I had with this uh, with the old style remote just to learn because I didn't want to destroy this remote. I got some things to happen by four in the morning if, after a few nights and things like that. But it was unpredictable. My my coding skills are none. Um, Anyway, I just got this new toy, a uh, software defined radio, Hakar F1. Um, I thought I'd have a go at that. So, um, what I found, which is fairly, I thought it was quite cool, is that I can record something and I can just keep replaying it over and over again. So, the encryption for this thing is not any kind of rolling encryption or anything like that. Um, so, I'm not sure why we can't just capture all of the packets and just spit out the same in encrypted packets all the time. Um, I'm just going to give you a demo. Um, what I've actually got is the down lights, the 6 watt down lights, uh, which are really good. So much better than the G these GU turns are terrible. These down lights are brilliant and they're very shallow as well, easy to fit. I've also got a my light. Um, I'm sorry about the camera, my main camera is broken. This LG G5 has also has a wide angle camera and that one still works. So. Everything's filmed in wide angle. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've also got a uh, a controller here. So again, it's RGB dual white, runs off 24 volts, and there's some AliExpress LED strips here that um, do this, you know they work pretty well. It all works quite well in tandem, you know. Um, but these aren't made by MyLight, but they work with the MyLight controller. Um, let's go back to white mode. Okay, so that's what I've got, and this is what I've discovered um, experimenting today. First day of uh, software-defined radio for me. Um, it's all new. Anyway, um, I've got this thing set to record. It's going to use 10 megahertz bandwidth, and it's going to record from a center frequency of 2.47 gigahertz. These are some gain settings that seem to work. Um, I'm using a Wi-Fi antenna. So what I want to do is record uh, me dimming down and back up and then I'm going to replay that over and over again from the computer and it just keeps working which I think is good so here we go record dim down dim up okay and let's stop recording now to play that back it's almost the same command but it's transmit instead of receive and the gain option is a uh, different parameter so I'll run that command and see if something happens. And there we go. Well, I can do this as many times as I want now. I mean, you know, it's high bandwidth, 
obviously it's not going to possibly not work off a Raspberry Pi, who knows, but um, it seems like we could just start capturing all the encrypted frames and just spit them out without understanding the protocol maybe. Um, no, it just works every time. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks.